G'day guys, welcome back. Just a little canvas today, uh, 25 by 30 centimetre. Got my big push pins in the back. Um, what was that in inches? Let's have a look. Um, oh, it's a 10 by 12. 10 by 12 inch. Righto. Now the inspiration for this pour today is my tissue box. Look at that. Uh, greys, shades of grey, sort of shades of yellow. Not a bright yellow though, a toned down yellow. These are actually the colours of my new bedroom. Um, well, bedding anyway, my new bedroom bedding. This is the box of tissues that goes with it. So I'm going to try a little experiment with the colours and see how we go because I do need to do some more art for my bedroom. I like to change it up every year. Last time uh, last year you saw me do pinks and greys and apricots because I've got a grey wall, grey walls and a darker grey feature wall so things have to go with the grey because I'm not going to repaint, I just bought new bedding. Um, so these are my colours here, they're all Montmartre. The charcoal, it's just black with a little bit of white, I made that myself. We've got normal plain white, uh, this one is yellow okra, all the Montmartre studios. The metallic silver, I put them in here because it's a lot easier for me to get the paint out. Uh, you can buy plastic containers like this with lids on from Kmart. I think they're, oh, they're a three pack. They're not very expensive. Naples yellow, I made that one myself because I don't have Naples yellow. So that's, that's my colours. Pouring medium is my usual 60% glue, 40% water. It's getting really grubby now, isn't it? I should clean it up. And then to that... Treadmill silicone. I like the spot on brand. So in my cups, I've got 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint. The white, I've got 60 grams of paint because it's just so thin. I don't know why. Um, so that's 100 grams in there. Let's do three drops in each. Okay. Don't squeeze your bottle. Just let the drop, the drops drip out, or the drips drop out, whichever way you are inclined. Now, sort of trying to go, well, trying to keep the two yellows away from each other and trying to keep the two greys away from each other. So we've got a dark yellow, a light yellow, a dark grey and a light grey, and then some white. And that's how I've done it. The silver always feels a little bit thicker. Like when you mix it equal parts, you think, oh, that feels thicker than the others. Um, it's supposed to. If you make your metallic too thin, it just vanishes. So... Even though it's the same ratio, one to one, it will feel thicker and that's okay. Go with it. Don't be tempted to thin it out, okay? Because it will just vanish. In saying that, I haven't really done a lot with the Montmartre metallics, so I could be wrong. I have been known to be wrong. I thought I was wrong once, but I was mistaken. <laughs> no. All right, let's get to layering. <clears throat> So I've got 500 grams of mixed paint here for this. Um, I'm just going to do this. I'll layer them down the sides. It's just faster. It's a big cup and, you know, it's got a long way to go. So the paint might actually drop straight through. So we'll just do it this way. I'm not sure how many layers I'm going to do. I'll just pour some in and see what happens. You don't have to drizzle your paint over the top. I'm still getting layers here. Right, this is the third one, isn't it? It's much faster. Look at me go, Speedy Gonzales. <laughs> uh, I think that'll be the last one, actually, because now I'm going to have to scrape out. So that's four layers in my big cup. So I've bought uh, another big canvas that's going to sit on my wall above my bed. And um, I'm going to do, out of these colours, 
because I need to do two paintings for my room. One goes above the bed, which is a big one, and that one I've bought another branch stencil. I'm, I'm going to do balloon medallions in these sort of colours. And then the other one goes on the opposite wall above my TV, and I'll do a big flip and drag for that one. So that's the plan anyway, once I see how these colours work together. So I haven't got black, so hopefully the, the yellow won't go too green baby poo colour. You know how black and yellow do that. But I've kind of gone for a... Uh, what do you call this sort of a yellow? A mustard. There we go. A mustard yellow is more like what it is I'm just going to put a little bit of this on each corner we are doing the one big flip cup today yeah I'm not quite sure what the silver is going to do and I had the silver and I thought oh I'm just going to use it rather than you know make up a light gray although if I'm doing the balloon medallions I probably will make up a, a light gray paint because I'll need lots of shades and I'm going to put a little bit of brown maybe like a um, burnt sienna sort of a color in it as well I'll show you my bedding another another day and I'll finish off with a little bit of this charcoal definitely not black it's a dark gray charcoal color There we go. Nice big cup full. Hey, look at that. Looks pretty, doesn't it? I wonder if I can flip this over without splishing it everywhere. Oh, is she any good? Look at that little tiny splush. Okay, so basically I'm just going to flip that over. Drag it a little bit because I want it to come down here. Let me just wash my hands while that's sitting there. I've been doing some blobbing today. It's over there on the table behind me. It's had three layers now, so <coughs> you'll be seeing that one soon enough. Right, I think that's, it didn't really have very far to go, did it? So let's just flip this over and see what happens. Not sure whether I should flip it that way or turn it. So the paint sort of went down one side, so I don't know I do it the opposite way. <coughs> the paint went down this side. Oh, it probably won't make any difference, but right, let's just do this, hey? Hope it's pretty. Hope I don't get mud. Well, it's not mud, so that's a good thing. Okay. That's pretty. See how your end bits go all stripey like that? That's what happens when you do a flip and drag. You drag so you get the stripes. Don't put that back in, okay? Because it's just muddy. It's been tipped over, back, tipped over again. So just don't do it. Now, I'm not going to bother tilting. I'm just going to um, torch straight away because it's almost covered anyway. This is great. If you can have this amount of paint on your surface then um, that's great. You know, you don't have to tilt too much. I'm just popping the bigger bubbles. But when I torch, I'm just going to go really up nice and high. That paint is really thick on there, so it's going to take a while for that heat to go down and bring the oil up to the surface. So just take your time with the heat. It's going to take a while to penetrate that thick paint. Don't rush it. Don't get too close. You can just hold the torch over the top of the paint and warm it gently. You might not see anything happening, but it is heating up and the oil is coming to the surface, so don't get too close. I know I keep telling you, but it's really important. It'll be interesting to see how these colours work together. It's 
quite a lot of that darker okra color there. Not sure if I'll get anything under that coming up because it's quite quite a thick color. I'll see there's silver trying to pop up underneath it. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm not sure how the silver is going to work with it. I may have been better off going with a, a light gray, but this will tell me. All right, that's looking really good. I didn't get too close. Just wait for those few in the middle there to pop up. So just, yeah, take your time. It, the torching is seriously the most important part. Because if you get too close, and you get big clusters and big caterpillars um, and burn your paint, then um, it's no good. See, I've still got bubbles. I didn't get close enough to pop bubbles. little blob of something there. Bit of charcoal paint. Okay, so that's been sitting quite long enough. I have got some amazing, amazing cells in the middle here, multicolored ones. The silver coming through under that okra is not doing very much. Um, and I've said it before and I'm, I'll say it again, you need your opaque with your semi-transparent to make a good cell. So semi-transparent, opaque. Semi-transparent, opaque. These two, they're both semi-transparent. See the cells? They're not going to do much. You need an opaque in there between those semi-transparents to get that ring around your, your cells. I don't even know if I'll need my corner catcher today. We'll see. I'll start to tilt. I, I'm going to have to get that off because I don't like that. And I'm going to have to get this big stripey piece off. So, yeah, I've got a bit of, bit of tilting to do. Um, I will use this. So I don't want to lose it off the edge there while I'm going for that corner. See, that's keeping it there. I can always tip it off later on, but I just need to get my corners covered first. And if you torch early, it means that you can grow your cells. See, I'm stretching them out now. Whereas if I wait and I cover the whole surface first, um, then I've got nowhere to, to move. You know, the paint's already so thin, it's not going to, to move across the surface and, and stretch those cells out. Getting some weird little cells in there. Very strange, those ones. I'll show you those later. I get a bit of that off. It's looking a little bit too sort of grayish. Um, oh, those are amazing, those cells. But I think I'm going to lose those. Let's see if I can keep some of them. Hanging on to my push pin underneath. No, they've... The one that I really liked has gone. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just get rid of that little caterpillar there. Okay. So now I just got the one corner to do. So back to the middle. Change direction. Use the weight of the paint to um, help you go where you need to go. Into the corner. Back then let go and then if you still want to take some more over the edge then you can like that big blob there and a little bit there but we'll just walk it okay and back to the middle mm. Not loving that. Um, what are those two colours together? Did I have the yellow ochre next to the charcoal? I'm going to bring the weight of the paint down here and try and get some of that off. But I need to walk the paint down, not just straight down. And then back. 
that's better. Now walk it back. Now just go straight back. I think I'm going to leave it there because then everything else up this end is starting to get overstretched again. I might just leave the weight of the paint down that way actually. About there. How's that? <laughs> My hands are pretty muddy. So, what do I think about that colour combination? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I can cut down on the charcoal. Can't really see the, the silver. You know, I can see white and I can see charcoal. The silver's not really bringing anything to the table. So I'm thinking maybe I'll use my charcoal and add a bit more white to it and make a, a lighter grey. Look at those cells there with the white rings. A little bit muddy up on this side. I'm thinking maybe I need two whites. Because where I've got the white is really pretty. And then over here I don't have any white and it's a bit muddy. So remind me, next time I do this, I need a lighter grey and I need two whites. Okay, dokes. Thanks, because I love that white around there. All right, let me take you down for a close-up. It's very animal printy, isn't it? It is. Turn my lights off. Try not to trip over the cords. Okay. I don't like how that's muddy there in the corner. So I'm not sure. Hmm. I, I obviously maybe that's where I can put my other white. Put the white between the yellow ochre and the charcoal, just so that I don't get that. Kind of muddy look. A little pop of yellow on the corner there. Black, the background is nicely blended. Look at those cells. They're pretty good, aren't they? With the white rings around them. Yeah, they're not amazing, amazing cells. I probably need more contrast like when they were little they were really good but then when they stretched they kind of lost their um the brilliance i guess so there we go let me get my box of tissues over here put it next to it try not to get paint on my tissues though oh see that's showing more apricot i'm not picking up the correct color there it's more, it is more of the Naples colour. I don't know why it's showing more of an apricot colour. It's not. It's more of a yellow. Oh, there. See, there's the yellow over there. Now you're, now you're picking it up properly. It's just when it's on the shadow on the side, it's not picking it up. Anyway, there we go. Matched a box of tissues. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you think of it? Yay or nay? I think it'll look really nice as a balloon medallion. So I'll do that next week because that's going to be a big one and I need to spread out the whole table to do that. It's like a, hmm, I think it's 1.8 metres long. So I'll be doing that one next week. So keep an eye open for that one. Don't forget to hit that little notification bell. Uh, if you're not getting notifications, just untap the bell and then re-tap because sometimes they, they kind of don't work. Right, so anyway, let me know what you think or how it can be improved, but I do think that it can be improved with um, ch changing out the silver for a light grey and then adding another white and just putting it between the charcoal and that ochre just so I don't get that muddy, muddy look there. All right, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Really appreciate it. Stay safe. See you all soon. Bye for now.